All right, welcome back, guys. It's a new video. Got Mike here. You want to say hi? Hi. All right. So uh, if you guys remember, a couple weeks ago, I rebuilt a Briggs 5 horse for a go-kart. And uh, yeah, this is the go-kart that it's going on. And uh, if it runs, we're going to do tandem drifts today. So stay tuned. All right, so here's the cart. We just pressure washed it. Uh, the tires did hold air. But those seem to have gone flat uh, from sitting outside. Man, this thing is way rougher after <laughs> we pressure washed it. <laughs> Look at all the rust. I don't feel so bad about mine being a pile of shit anymore. <laughs> this one's about as equal as bad. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, I got a, I got a live axle. You got a a one tire fire. So uh, I I don't know. Maybe mine's slightly better, but. <laughs> <laughs> the slightness is it's so slight <laughs> so yeah right now he's just pulling off this old points based ignition uh Briggs and Stratton this is from like the 70s uh we're gonna throw on something that's from the 90s that I just rebuilt we got a rebuilt carb uh I did a hone didn't put in rings I reseated the valves um we're gonna reuse this janky clutch and chain and just kind of send it and I brought the Harbor Freight MIG welder and we're gonna try to figure out how we can adapt the wait a second how we can adapt this pedal to the throttle <laughs> that's cool that's gonna mess you up so bad <laughs> nice Gentle. let's pressure wash this again yeah. I just need to emphasize the amount of jank here. This has house 14-2 for the kill switch. Oh man. And we have a bent nail as a cotter key. Oh my This thing, oh this one at least has a cotter key. I mean it's, it's Check like as old as the cart. Check out the sidewall. Yeah, okay. I hope these are tubes. Oh man. Yeah, it's gotta be a tube. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, that's a tube. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> well, let's uh, get that, that blast off and we'll get that new engine on. All right, so we got old engine off, this cleaned up, new engine, new. <laughs> ready to go on. This came with a uh, no key. I don't know if I can show you or not. Of course it's not rotating over. Anyway, this had no key. So we went to the hardware store, got a key, got a washer, lock, lock washer, and the proper thread pitch. This, on this engine, you guys wouldn't believe this crap. Uh, where did that, where did that go, Mike? It had uh, well, anyway, you'll have to take my word for it. It had the wrong thread pitch bolt in here, and it only had one thread grabbing. Yeah, look at how nasty that is. It only had one thread grabbing, because this is coarse thread. And then they just stacked it with a ton of washers. <laughs> oh, and we, you, like, you ran this, and yep. it went places. It did. That could have shot off and, like, hit anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so yeah hopefully uh you know this will be safer so we'll get this bolted up and see if it fires up Just done polishing the turd here um we have our throttle hooked up on the left side um just kind of use this bicycle piece there and from a brake and booger welded it on and then uh Comes around here, and then, yeah, we got a throttle. Mike, you want to hit the throttle so we can see it working? Yeah, works nice. All right, cool. So, uh, I guess let's get this on the ground and see if it uh, fires up. So, uh, so uh, we're just uh, tightening up the engine bolts again because we had to adjust the chain. It was chunking pretty bad. Uh, but we think we might have found out why. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get a good reference point. The, those wheel bearings are gone. Oh man, that's sketchy. Ah. <laughs> you ready to ride this thing, Mike? <laughs> Let's give her a whirl. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so we got this thing fired up. It still doesn't seem like it's getting full power. At least it wasn't surging. We got that straightened out, but it just wasn't really revving up very high. So, yeah, we're going to just run it, just see what we can do. It's dark out, so we're not going to get very good video at this point. But, uh, you know, we put this much effort in, we want to at least see it move. So that's what's happening. We got it going, and this is all we got. Oh, my one tire fire. Stay on it. I'll give you a push. Try to go downhill. This is so slick. Ah, right in the face. <laughs> Alright, back it up. <laughs> I know. We gotta get a new carb on there. Alright, go for it. I'm getting so... Go! 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 I'm just walking. Go! The one wheel peel is so slippery. There's the traction. Traction. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's off! <laughs> oh, shit, he's really out there. <laughs> I'll see what happens when he gets traction here. This is so slow! <laughs> it's just peeling out the whole time. It's the whole time. It's just peeling out. Oh, back it up! Back it up! Back it up! <laughs> Oh, you don't want to do a lap? I don't think it's going to do a lap. I was like wide open over there trying not to go up here and it just died on me. <laughs> it wouldn't go anywhere. It has no traction. It is literally just peeling out the whole f***ing <laughs> time. I think it needs new tires. Yeah, I think it needs a solid axle swap is what I think it needs. Yeah, it's like unusable on the ice. Alright, so now that you got that out of your system, uh, you want to go see what a, a, a real go-kart is like? Let's go see this real piece of yeah. <laughs> now, hey, we better fire this up. You're going to have to drag it all the way back otherwise. Are you ready to experience five horsepower as it is meant to be? I don't know if I can handle yeah, it. Yeah, I don't we'll know see. if you can. <laughs> we have my <laughs> go-kart. And uh, we're going to go have some fun because this one is, uh, you know, actually two-wheel drive. So I'm going to let him go first. And if he doesn't wreck it, then I'm going to go. And we'll put down some times. <laughs> All right, he is out of sight. Ah, doing donuts. Coming back around. This one's so much hairier compared to that one, the first one. Go, go. <laughs> oh, I think that's the chain. I kind of expected that. Um, so nope. what's your impression compared to the other go-kart? The other go-kart's for babies and this is for toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thanks for the tingling. insult. <laughs> it's fun. It's All right. a lot faster. So you gonna, you want to pick a lap? You gonna yeah. pick one? Yeah. We're gonna do a figure eight around those and then around this and back and... I'm gonna see if I can get out of here. Okay. Oh, here I'll kill the engine for you. Go! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, this thing turns around on a dime. <laughs> He's feeling it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's really fun down there. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit of an incline. <laughs> Nice! Yeah! <laughs> I changed my mind. I had to get that on video. Woo! It's so cold. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you don't want to do it? Oh, fine. You talked me it's into so it. It's so much fun, though. It, it is. All right, it's so cold, but it's worth it. Oh, All right, uh, so what have we learned today, Mike? Taking the go-kart through the slush is rewarding, but it's uh, very cold. Okay, now I'm going to go do that same stupidity. Um, if you want to see more idiocy like this, uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, hit that like button and the notification bell. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>